Angus, I'm not sure this is the right direction. No, it's on the map. Yeah, we surely should not go in a cave. They mentioned the cave. <laughs> so, as a one this centimeter was seven and a half kilometers. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> 75 meters. <laughs> We're out with a pro today and we are ready to get lost in the woods. This is our pro and... This is not a pro. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is orienteering? Uh, orienteering is a sport where you get a map, a compass, and you have to find controls, uh, right order, as quickly as possible. That's going to be a challenge for us. It might be challenging, <laughs> but, uh, I think it's going to be fun. And, yeah. and that's why we've got you here, because uh, you know a thing or two about orienteering. Yes, right? hopefully I can help out. Yeah. So what's your background? I've competed in this sport for a lot of years. I'm now at the uh, elite level in Norway and uh, traveling around competing. Yeah, so what, what's your best achievement in the sport so far? Uh, I think my best achievement was uh, the European Championships a week ago, where I got uh, 10th position. That's very impressive. Which was, uh, I was very happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. How many people do compete in these? How many were there? There were about uh, 150 com uh, competitors from across Europe, where every country has sort of uh, selected 10 to 20 runners for the event. How's it going, Ali? Are you buffering? Honestly? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Is it interfering with this, maybe? It shouldn't be too much. Doesn't it look very good now? Uh, now it's pointing the right way. No. Because no. north is... No, no. North is always this one. I was trying to match it up with this. No, no, no. no. Why? It doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've not seen him buffer so hard before. Okay, well, that's that is good. That's, yeah, that's. that's uh, uh, is it other Dean? <laughs> I like you started to argue with the expert. I'm going to trust you a bit more of where we're going to go. Thank you. Okay, so in line with this kind of it's not my first line. radio reading, man. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so now it's showing the right way. Yeah. <laughs> I like to, you just put it on your flat head as well. <laughs> you would not survive in the wilderness. <laughs> You're going to what? You say this. Appearance, mate. Ah, yes, of course. Yes, It's not you. Oh, it's a pro set, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge of the first post apparently, but pray for us. This explains the concept, right? Yes, this is the sort of the explanation where we have a start triangle, where we start the course on the map, where we take these uh, controls in order. So one, two, three. And so a control is what you're trying to find, right? Yes, this yep. is a flag with a buzzer, which you uh, collect electronically on the way. Alrighty, so what, if we're starting from here, what what's the first thing I do? The first thing you do is you use the compass to uh, get the map pointing in the right direction. It's much harder than yeah, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> We've already established I'm not so good at this. Yeah. And then when you start the first control, yep. you have to make a plan yep. of where you're going and what you're going to find on the way. Yep. And then we have these details on the map, whether it's uh, water or rocks or paths yep. that you're going to follow to the control. We've walked 10 meters, <laughs> and where are we? <laughs> north. Now you're just guessing. No, I'm looking at north. Okay. But you're turning quite a bit around. Yeah, but I'm waiting for my little dot to appear on my Apple Maps app. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming. That way. That way? Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bar. So instead of turning with the compass, mm -hmm. you could just move around your map until it aligns. Uh, okay. Because oh. then sort of what you have then in front of you on the map is what you see then. So like this? Yeah, like that. Because yeah. then when you see out there, that's 
what you see now here. Angus? What? Angus, we've got some help here. Yeah, I think we're walking 180 degrees in the wrong direction now. <laughs> it's better than 360. So you were here, yeah. and then we walked up to that path, yeah. and now you're walking down again. So we, <laughs> we, I'm going to say, we walked 10 meters and you got us completely in the wrong direction within 10 meters. <laughs> so now we're down here. It's if we walk up again and then find the path. Okay, I thought this was a path. <laughs> Same party. I'm phoning a friend here, yeah. being you. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy that we have this with, a, with this pro with us. Very good work, Cornelius. Yeah. Then you can see how quickly it goes when you, you think you're going in the right direction. Exactly. And then you lose a bit of control of the north and direction. Yep. Then you straight down the wrong path. Okay, so we're going back up. Back up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which direction are we going now? But what's that way? 180 degrees, which I re learned recently is worse than 360 degrees. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, I don't do maths. <laughs> I feel like we're going in circles now. Can you please explain why we're going this direction? Because above the back cave, it okay, cave my home. Yeah. There was a path. Okay. So I need to make my way to that path and then take a sharp left. And this left should bring us almost all the way down to three, I believe. Okay. Elevation is getting less and less on the map. So we're going down, which you see as well, elevation wise. Exactly. The first post wasn't my finest hour, but it can be even harder than that. It can right. get much harder than this. Yeah. We do something called night orienteering, yeah. where uh, we run at uh, the middle of the night, where it's completely dark. We run with headlamps uh, looking for controls, which makes everything a lot more challenging. Right. I think I'd miss every yeah. <laughs> single control doing that. I usually miss a lot of controls yeah. doing night orienteering. So you're going to stick with the daylight? I stick with daylight, yeah. yeah. Hey. Yes. Good job. All right. Your turn now, mate. <laughs> okay. Bring it on. No, seriously. Like game face on now. How long until you call Cornelius for help? Can you just come? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. All, all jokes aside. All jokes aside. We're here at number three. Yes, correct. This is north, so that means that where we go to number four is basically west. So we need to head pretty much west. Yeah. And now we just need to work out which way is north, and the arrow is telling me it's behind me. So actually, therefore, west should be that way. Yes, I guess, yeah. So in, sim in the simplest possible terms, we need to head in that direction. Yeah, in okay. general terms though. But. So we need to figure out where we're going. I don't fancy spending tonight in the forest. No, but so luckily you... these things are nice and yep, orange. So we well, I'm, I'm colorblind, so that doesn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but, That's actually very true. And your sense of direction is terrible. So between the two of us, we're a bit stuck. It's still slightly northwest. Yeah. Okay, so, so you've got covered where we're going again. And if that way is north, then it's actually... Uh, nobody else is actually slightly that way, even. Are there? Uh, that yeah, or if I just we hold it like this now, which is pretty... Yeah. It should be straight this way. Okay. How often do you look at it when running? It's different from runner to runner. Yeah. But I mean, some people say they look at it every five seconds. How much do you do it? Probably like once every 10 seconds or something. Okay, so you, and then you're like, okay, yeah. still on track. You look, oh, this is a good path. Yeah. And then I usually pick a point to run to. Yeah. And then I come to that point and then I take a new one. So for example, you would say, just as an example, you yeah. say, oh, this is my point. Yeah. I'll run to a tree. And then you look again, it's like, yep. Yeah, now the next sure. one is uh, the yeah. lake. And okay, so you set like small yeah. anchors on. Try 
Maybe I should shoot this leg now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just tell me when you think you found the way? Yeah. We have to put like all we trust into Alistair now. And 10 minutes ago, he had no idea even the compass, how it worked. And now <laughs> he's trying to get us through a lake because that's the fastest way. <laughs> yes, Al I mean, you're very tall, Alistair, but you just still hear, a lake. You can just hear me like walking around. <laughs> What are your thoughts, Cornelius? Yeah. I think he's uh, on track here, but uh, it seems like he's struggling to find a way up now. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in a competition, I would just be like, fuck this, I'll get wet feet. I don't... Yeah, he just goes straight across. Yeah, that, in competition, yes. Yeah. So you see that big rock there? Yeah. That's that black circle next to the water. This one, you sure? Yeah, so we walked through. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're questioning the pro. Do you think you have a better understanding? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure he makes mistakes as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll check it. So you're saying actually next year there's a race in, is it Edinburgh? Yes, uh, the city centre of Edinburgh. Okay, so I'm guessing some point you're going to be going over to Edinburgh to scope out the area and try and get a bit of a heads up on, uh, on the course? Or? Unfortunately, in the biggest um, international and national competitions, they have something called embargoed areas, Boy. where they close off the competition areas at least three to four years beforehand. Three to four years? Three to four years. Wow. So uh, I know some guys in, that live in Edinburgh yeah. that now have to like walk around these areas okay, to avoid so them. Okay, so they're not allowed in the course area four years before the race yeah. to stop you getting any kind of like heads up or planning, um, you know, learning the route before. Yeah. Wow, okay, that's crazy. I think we made it. Yeah. This is it. Scan the tag on the beeper. And here we are. Yeah, this is very good orienteering. I'm uh, actually very impressed. Really? Yeah, this was uh, complicated. Thank you. This is very good. Yeah? yeah. Well, thank you. you don't have to say that. No, no. It's, um, I'm going to uh, say it. Way better than the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. So, um, we had a little bit of help along the way. But um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with how that went. Yeah. So, thank you. Well done, Ali. Thank you. Thank you very much. We made it. Uh, had a bit of help along the way, so thanks for that. But um, I'm proud of how we did. Okay, so let's see how the Great Dane, with his military experience, uh, uh, does it. Uh, oh, that's yes, too much uh, set. That's too much set. <laughs> Three important things. You've got the map, the compass, and of course, the tag. Thank you. Let's do it. We are here. Yeah. And this, the orange one has to point this way. Yes, or the you have to turn the map. So that's so the top of the map is always pointing in the same direction as the, the north. Ah, uh, okay. So basically it's all the other way around. Yeah. So now it's pointing the right direction. Yeah, and now you see the water is also on the, the same area as the map. Yes. Okay, so we're past four, five and then six. Yeah. And that's going to be an easy one for me. <laughs> Hopefully. So in orienteering, there's a lot of elements that have to come together in order to get a good race. So you need to have good concentration yeah. and you need to have good speed in your legs, yeah. good endurance, and you also need to use your brain to have full control over the, the route choices. That is difficult yeah. because, I mean, running in itself, I'm normally used to just completely pacing out, but here you actually need to use your brain yeah. and the physical All part. the time. Okay. Full speed, no mistakes, yeah. as I usually call it. That was a bit too easy, mate. <laughs> no, what do you mean? I, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Find the next post, do it quickly, do it fast. Wouldn't you agree, Cornelius? I totally agree. <laughs> no, I, I will take the sixth post as well. Good. And where is that? From what I see, we can go straight up this way. Why not? Instead of going around, we do the fastest and then climb. Awesome. We, would you do that? I definitely. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So 
up until now it's been us in charge and let's just say there's not been a lot of racing or running there's it's not been, been a lot of directional no, awareness it's been a lot of slowly walking around yep. doing this but now the map is in the hands of the pro who's yep. actually looking a bit impatient <laughs> and uh maybe this is where the real exercise actually starts yeah let's see how we go So we've become a bit more uh, Norwegian today with uh, Cornelius being uh, the pro and you have extra badge here which is the uh, Norsk Pointering, so Norwegian Federation. Federation, yes. Yeah. So how many members do you have? Uh, approximately 20,000 members and we have clubs all across Norway, so uh, pretty good. I don't think we've earned our uh, Norsk Orienteering badge just yet, um, but maybe with a bit more practice. Uh, but no, it's actually been seriously good to get out of nature, I suppose. Work on mental health and exercise as well. I think uh, it's be a really good way to keep your mind active uh, as well as uh, physically. Exactly. So it's actually quite good for, uh, let's say, people with Alzheimer's strokes. Helps the brain, keeps you active. It's quite good.